To the coronavirus coverage now, new rules about to go into effect in California. The state reimposing indoor mask mandates and new testing requirements starting this Wednesday. Joining us live now, Dr. George Rutherford, professor of epidemiology and biostatistics at UCSF. Welcome, thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, first of all, cases jumping nearly 50% since Thanksgiving. It's kind of what the consensus said would happen, that by December 10th, we start to see it. If we saw the Thanksgiving surge, what do you see happening after Christmas and New Year's? You know, it's, it's a bit deceptive because we're not dealing with massive numbers here, but there's been some dips and starts. And yeah, you know, it is up 50% since Thanksgiving, but basically you're sort of drawing a point, an arbitrary point and pulling it forward. I think overall it's, it, the, the trends are going up, not massively up, um, and certainly not uh, up, not up as abruptly as they were last year, mm. which bespeaks the amount of vaccination that we have in the in the Bay Area and across the state. But you know, California is really functionally five or six separate epidemics, and different things are going to be happening in, in in each one. And it, you know, we're looking at the sum of those, so it's a little hard to say exactly what's going to happen. To answer your question, though. I suspect we'll continue to see a surge into into January, like we did last year. Hopefully, it won't be nearly as bad, but that's a you know trade off between Omicron versus Delta, and um, waning immunity versus boosters. Well, rules are rules. We know some people follow them, others won't. And as you point out, we're pretty well vaccinated here in California, the Bay Area. Is the indoor mask mandate also there's that end date of January 15th a good move? Is that going to be enough to fight these variants through the holidays? Well, certainly through the holidays, it's good. it's going to certainly help. But after that, I think it's it, you know you, we have to play it by ear. The Bay Area counties uh, have their own rules for coming off of the indoor mask mandate, uh, which, given the current levels, are not going to be fulfilled any place besides Marin. Uh, but Marin's now going to have to roll back to having indoor mask mandates. So, you know, I, I think what we want to be able to do is get out into February, and then we'll be able to get on the other side of this. See what's happening with Omicron, of which there are a lot of open questions, and we'll be able to plot the next moves then. Until we get there, a lot of people are going to travel over the holidays and want to see family. They'll be coming into the state. They'll be going out of the state and coming back. The state is recommending that you, the travelers returning to California get tested. A good idea, and I'm thinking, what about the kids maybe getting tested before returning to school? Sure. I mean, I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing if they've been out of uh, out of state and are unvaccinated. You know, we can vaccinate down to five years of age and we should be able to get most of those kids vaccinated by the time school starts again. Uh, I think coming uh, when you travel and you come back into the state, given the relative uh, size of the epidemic, you know, in this broad swath from Arizona up to, to New England, kind of diagonally going across the U.S., I think it makes uh, I think it makes good sense, especially if people have gone to places like Europe where there's a ton of infection. Um, yeah, I think that makes good sense. And the, the state recommendations are that you get tested three to five days uh, uh, post, uh, post return to California, which I think is very prudent. And if you're unvaccinated to uh, go into a, a self-imposed quarantine for seven days and get tested at five, which similar, they're very similar to the CDC's international testing recommendations. And it is a whole different time. I mean, it's much easier to get tested, much easier to get vaccinated and boosted than ever before. Uh, yeah, well, the testing is, you know, we're, uh, the president has made uh, made home testing uh, one of his uh, platforms. I think that's really a good idea. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Marin County Health Officer, Matt Willis, today uh, had an editorial in the uh, Marin IJ talking about trying to link that to, to reporting. Um, you know, testing is great, but we need to know the results if we're going to uh, be able to figure out where the epidemic's progressing, what's going on. So that's the kind of next step to figure out how do you get the results from the individual patient's hands into the health department's hands. Right, it may be peace of mind for the patient and their family, but right, we need the big picture, the big numbers. And we need the, we need the negative test as well as the positive test because we look at percentages. Right, right. Dr. Rutherford, thanks. Have a safe and healthy holiday. You too. Good to see you. All right. Thank you. All right, stay with KPIX5, kpix.com, continuing coverage of the coronavirus for you. You can also check out our vaccine guide. That's for information on how to get your shot or your booster.